What is up everyone? We are here with some Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, and we're here to talk about the new Angeo Limit Break banner and answer that question, should you pull? Remember guys, if you do like what you see, if you'd like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already, that'd be absolutely amazing. And let's get into this banner. So first off, uh, we're going to take a look at the gear itself, the honorable training garb. Has a very, very, uh, Auron, young Auron look from Final Fantasy X. Uh, I like the, the chainmail underneath. Pauldron here. Ties look great. I mean, overall, the gear looks really, really good. I like the, how the colors work together. Um, it just... It just looks really good. I mean, it's it's very minimal, but put together really well. Stat-wise, uh, we have our boost defense to all allies. So this will boost their physical and magic defense by 5%. And then Waterblade Arcanum. So overall, makes it a really, really good gear. Because not only is it something that benefits him, it benefits the entire party. Regardless of whether you're using a physical or magic makeup some of the other outfits we've had that have been party benefits uh you know they've been you know boost physical attack for all allies boost magic attack for all allies which again if you're taking that person in with a you know it's a physical one you're bringing them in with a party of magic users it's not going to benefit them so this is one that's truly going to benefit everybody uh kind of similar to was it Aerith, so which was just a boost attack for all allies so it boosted both physical and magic so bringing him with Aerith, you know, him having this one and Aerith having her attack one, you're going to be benefiting your entire party, regardless of the makeup. The sword. Tranquility. Now we do have a uh, guild battle coming soon, and you can tell that this, uh, either the guild battle was designed around this gear or this gear was designed around the guild battle, you know, which came first, the chicken or the egg. But, uh, um, so we've got a water weapon here. Again, goes well with the gear. 520% physical water damage at just base 5 star. Provoke 60 seconds. And then a veil for 5% of max HP to self for 40 seconds or until it runs out. Uh, has a boost attack to all boost P attack, sorry, to all allies plus 30. Again, you'll be main handing this thing. Um, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be putting this in your offhand for this upcoming battle. So we're gonna look at it from the perspective of main handing it. So you're getting that 18% uh, physical attack buff to all allies, and he has the water potency of plus 15%. P attack, P attack, and then triangle sigil boost. So this is a great setup for that if you take this up to ob6 we're at 780 percent physical water damage again provoke for 60 seconds that is not going to change veil goes to eight percent for 50 seconds the boost p attack jumps up to 40 so now you're at the plus 22 percent to all allies to their physical attack and water potency has gone to plus 27 so now you're at 40 percent honestly this is a good spot to get this to if you're going to pull for it um while getting it to OB10 is nice, this is still a very good sweet spot, as is most um, items. There are very few that right away you just want to push for OB10. Um, OB6 is a great spot on this one. If you do happen to take it to OB10 though, 940%, 60 second provoke still. The veil goes up to 10% for 60 seconds. Again, assuming you're getting it to last that long because you're also provoking yourself, so all attacks are coming to you. He attacks down up to 46, you're now at plus 25% to all allies, you're 9 points away from getting that plus 28%, which honestly, I would not waste another skill slot on that, unless you're using something like Glens. I think it was Glens. Uh, you know, unless you were in your, you know, offhand using Glens, uh, was it Limit Break Weapon? It was a water boost too, wasn't it? Not water resist, water boost. 
Yeah, the stream slasher. If you were throwing something like this on here, maybe. Now, obviously, a lot, uh, some of you may not have this weapon because maybe you didn't pull on this banner or you weren't here when this banner was here. Um, but where I've got it right now, you know, that 13 is going to be enough to push it. You know, and give us a tiny bit of four <laughs> to the water potency. Uh, but that would be the only way maybe I would, you know, if I would take that to OB10. Like I said, just, it's one of those where there's not much you can put behind it, if not. And again, main handing it, you're, you're going to want to do as much damage as possible. So, but you know, you're not going to want to be putting something behind this. That's just straight boost P attack and then doesn't benefit, you know, much else for you. Like you wouldn't want to use this fire, uh, the fire one or as an ice, um, as a supplement to this. Cause you're just gonna, you have a wasted slot at that point. Um, plus again, you're only getting a plus 3%. You could throw that stream slasher on somebody else. And, you know, as, a, as an offhand thing, it's going to give a plus 10%. It's going to be more beneficial on that. As we can see, as this gets further down, we start getting those diminishing returns. Um, so honestly, whether you get this thing to OB6 or that OB10, I would say that's the all the boost P attack to all allies you need on that character. Throw any other secondaries with that, our ability onto a different character, just so that you're not getting too big of diminishing returns. I'd rather have that bigger jump at the beginning. Now, the other thing about the OB-10 is that it does go up to water potency plus 39. Uh, so you're at that plus 55% break point, six points away from the plus 70. So again, if I had used that stream slasher, uh, I'm still going to be just shy. I'd be at 44. So you can see, uh, for me, even that's not even a good idea. Uh, uh, even just that OB1 for the stream slasher. Um, so, uh, like I said, getting this thing to OB6 is a really good sweet spot, especially if you don't have a ton of crystals. OB10, if you've got it or you're a whale, you know, by all means, hit that point. The other plus to this banner, and again, I, I, I say this plus as a caveat, is the HP Shout. Um, if you're somebody who utilizes Kate Sith, and you don't have this, and you wanted to pull on this banner, that's an extra plus on this banner. Again, there's no guarantee you're going to get that weapon, unless you finally get enough of the, the uh, Mako gems to make that happen. Um, but... Uh, if you don't use Kate Sith it, and you're that would you're just wanting his weapon and again these are not things you can put in sub slots this can only go on that character um, I mean I was lucky enough to get it on the was it the Tifa anniversary banner I wasn't pulling for it I was pulling for Tifa and just happened to get the Kate Sith weapon I haven't used it once that I don't use Kate Sith so um, you know, while I think it was nice that they added this as the ultimate weapon to go with this because she was it was just only on that Tifa anniversary banner uh, prior to that, as well as the the two Halloween banners too. I would assume that the next banner we get, we're going to see a new ultimate weapon, um, just to kind of keep things moving along. It's kind of kind of in the pace of things. Uh, Hopefully it'll be more of a weapon that will draw people to draw on that banner. Now, Angel's new. People want to have stuff for him. I get that. So let's go back to this main question of should you pull on this banner? So one of the things to note about this banner is the fact that there is a even higher boosted normal amount to the Tranquility Blade. It's a 1.5% chance if you pull a 5 star that it's going to be the Tranquility Blade. So, and by the way, Sephiroth's Genji Blade is still a part of the pull. It's just super, super rare. Um, so should you pull on this banner? If you are somebody who is wanting to put Angeal as one of your main used characters, then uh, and, you've, and you've got, at minimum, enough crystals to get you through to the gear, then yeah, I would pull on this banner just because... Um, I see this being something useful for him, even though, honestly, in my opinion right now, 
Angel's more useful stuff outside of the upcoming guild battle is going to be his his uh, buff debuff type things where he becomes that that tank where he's setting people up to take damage or himself to take a ton of damage um, and whatnot. It's like the the great sword, the uh, flash thrust here, the shock slash, uh, his elemental ones. So this fortress guard. So these elemental ones, the alloy great sword, the gargantuan. Uh, no, gargantuan is another one that does the buff debuff. Sorry, I was thinking of the uh, sequoia didron or the innocent warrior. Uh, you know, these are going to be ones that are going to let him dish some damage. But like I said, for what I can see so far, his goal is or his role is to be that tank. So for me, I don't really have the gems to pull on this banner. I mean, I don't know how much I'm going to utilize Angeal either at this point. Um, I've done some ticket pulls for him gotten some items not um, really much of his elemental stuff yet uh, so for me this is going to be a pass but for the average user should you pull on this again if you want to put Angel in your party and you've got the tickets to get him to his gear at minimum then I would say yes pull on this banner this is a good banner if you're thinking about using Angel and you know you again have those gems and you want to pull on this it, it's not a bad banner at all. Uh, if you don't have the gems to get yourself up to the gear, I would not pull on this banner. Um, this is an exclusive limit break banner. So I'm assuming... As with other Limit Break weapons, this one will not be available in regular draws. So this is not even one that you can get later if that is indeed the case. I'm trying to see here. Yep, only appears in Limit Break draws. Okay, so this will not appear and you cannot wishlist this in later banners unless they bring back a Limit Break banner that allows us to do that. Um, I don't feel like this is exclusive enough or groundbreaking enough that this is a must have regardless of whether you're going to use him or not. Don't get me wrong, the stats on the weapon are great. But like I said, at minimum, you're going to want to take that thing to OB6. I'm not going, I would not go deep enough on this banner to get the weapon. Um, or to get the weapon to OB6, I would want like just one copy of the weapon which again is not worth pulling into this banner for me so should you pull again not a bad banner if you're wanting to use angel absolutely pull if you're not going to be using angel do not pull on this banner um but again if you're going to pull pull to uh, at minimum pull to get the the gear and then decide if you need to go further than that but that's kind of my thoughts on this banner, guys. So I'm going to call that here. Thanks for watching. Again, if you do like what you see, if you like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.